Velouté sauce. It's a French mother sauce. It's delicious. It is the base of a lot of flavorful sauces. Let me show you how easy it is to make this delicious sauce. And I'll share a secret or two on how to know whenever the roux is done cooking and ready to go. Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, and we're gonna dive into a French mother sauce, a traditional velouté sauce. Buckle up, let's go. So let's begin this sauce. This sauce is gonna have two main steps. First step is to make the roux. Second step is to add the stock or the liquid to the roux. We are going to start off with the cooking of the roux, step number one, and we're gonna keep this roux blonde. This traditional velouté sauce is a blonde or a white sauce, so you definitely don't want to brown the roux. Add roughly three tablespoons of butter or 45 grams into a saucepan over medium heat. Let that butter melt down nice and slow. You definitely don't want to brown it. And then we're gonna add roughly three tablespoons of flour or 30 grams. Traditionally, you would add equal parts butter and flour, say 30 grams flour, 30 grams butter. However, I have found that it works best to add a little bit more butter. So say 45 grams of butter and 30 grams of flour. And this allows the roux to cook a little bit more evenly so the roux doesn't clump up, there's less chances of it browning or burning. And whenever you're working with a white sauce, like this traditional velouté sauce, you want to have as much control over that blonde roux as possible to keep it from browning. Stick around to the end of the video and I'll share a couple little secrets with you on how to know whenever your roux is done cooking and ready to go. We cooked the roux for roughly two minutes. We got that flour taste out. Now it's on to step number two to add the stock. So we're using chicken stock. And remember, this is a traditional velouté sauce, so it is a white sauce. You could add any sort of white stock that you like. You could use this chicken stock. You could use white veal stock. You could use a vegetable stock. You could use a fish stock. Go ahead, leave a comment below. What stock do you like to use in your velouté sauce? We still have the burner over medium heat. We want to bring this to a nice little bit of a rolling simmer. Not too much of a boil, but just a nice simmer. At that point, it's a good time to grab a spoon and start to skim the impurities off the side. If you'll notice, whenever it's simmering, it pushes those impurities to the side of the saucepan. Also has a little pocket in the center, which makes it really easy just to skim it off the top. And it's a really good idea to do this to have a nice, clean sauce. Once you've cleaned up the sauce a little bit, go ahead and turn down the heat to low. And we're going to reduce this down for 15 minutes or until you've reached your desired thickness. The longer that you simmer it down, the more concentrated and thick it becomes. We've reduced the sauce down for 15 minutes. Now a good way to check to make sure that it's the desired thickness, stick that spoon in the sauce, run the finger down the back. If the line stays, you're good to go. Now we'll add a little bit of seasoning to this traditional white sauce. Because it is a white sauce, we'll add 1 fourth of a teaspoon of white pepper and some salt to taste. Grab a spoon, mix in that salt and pepper, make sure it's well incorporated. Once it's mixed in really well, you can go ahead and turn off the heat. Velouté sauce is power packed with a lot of concentrated flavor and because of this, it's the base sauce for many derivative sauces like sauce almond where there are egg yolks added and sauce supreme where you add cream. If you'd like to check out some of the derivative sauces, go ahead and click the link on the top right hand side of the page. To make sure that the sauce is silky smooth, we're going to go ahead and we're going to filter it through a fine sieve. Grab that filter, we're off heat, grab a nice saucepan, filter it through. Take that saucepan, give that sieve a tap just to make sure the sauce comes through. And there you have it, a traditional velouté sauce. A silky smooth white sauce at its best. And now to that little secret that I promised you in the introduction. This is how you know a roux is fully cooked. The first indicator is the change of the color of the roux. Check out around those bubbles. See that arrow? See the roux? It's starting to turn white. Once the roux turns completely white, then you know that that roux is done and cooked through. And the second indicator is a smell. It's a smoky type toasted nut smell. Once you start smelling that, you know that it's done. And the reason why you want to cook the roux is to get rid of that flour type taste. And this process usually takes one to three minutes. Great, so now you know how to tell whenever a roux is cooked and the flour taste is gone, and we've completed this sauce. Now it's time for you to go on out and give the velouté sauce a try. Let me know how it works out for you. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. I want to make sure that your sauce making experience is as smooth as possible. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned to the latest and greatest sauce and gravy videos. 
And remember, my friends, as always, to live, love, and make gravy.